Hi guys, welcome back. We've got a viewer question today. Let's get into it. So Moving with Mariah says, You are such beautiful people and such an inspiration to me. Thank, Thank you. you, Mariah. <laughs> Over this summer, I have been really pondering what my purpose in life really is. And I now truly understand that my purpose is to give and help the world as much as I can. Awesome. I wish to travel and learn skills on how to help those in poverty, rescued animals, and inform about a vegan and minimalist lifestyle. Awesome. Unfortunately, my family and everyone in my life are pushing me to go to college, but I don't really see how that will help me to get my goals. Did either of you attend college or university? If so, do you think it helped you in any way with what you are trying to accomplish now, or was its only value in helping you understand that it wasn't your path? This is a brilliant question. Very good question. So I think a lot of people can relate to this, especially once they come to this lifestyle, to this movement, and they find that they're opening their hearts and they really want to follow a life path of giving. The only problem is we live in something called a monetary system, and although we wish it didn't exist, it does exist. So it can be tricky to align your life purpose and that idea of giving with actually earning an income to pay for the roof over your head and food on the table. There has to be a bit of a balance. And it can happen, but it may take some time. You may have to do things that are not directly in alignment with your life purpose for a while, whilst building and working towards being able to do something that is completely in alignment with your life purpose. And I think that's been the case for us, undoubtedly. Absolutely. And first of all, let's answer your question. Yes, we both did go to university. I studied a Bachelor of Arts with um, Honours in Media. And I did a Bachelor of Commerce with a specialisation in Economics and Finance. And we both worked in our respective fields of study for quite a number of years. We did learn skills in those fields that we are applying today, especially communication. So we get a lot of comments from people on the channel saying, oh, you put things really well and we can sort of understand what you're saying really clearly. And that has come from my past of journalism and um, corporate communications, speaking with people. And as a and business banking manager with my business clients, as well as training bank staff in business lending. So yeah, we definitely have transferred those communication skills to what we do now. Um, and yes, you're right, doing something that you don't really love to do for long enough does put you in the direction of finding what you do want to do. Definitely. And it depends on what your interest, what your area of study may be. Mm. So yes, we do need doctors, but be a plant-based doctor. We do need nurses, be a plant-based nurse. Um, you know, a vet, be a vegan vet. A lot of vets aren't vegan and that's really... Creepy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what are other jobs like? Well, I mean, if you're an engineer, uh, that's not really related to ethics in any major way because, you know, the physics and the numbers are the physics and the numbers. Yeah, um, but we need engineers. Absolutely. There are lots of things that we need people to go to college or university for. Yeah, something like um, basic nursing skills would be very handy if you're intending to help people in poor communities, in poor villages, in poor parts of the world. Yeah, like you know, humanitarian work. Yeah. yeah. So, university or college, um, we wanted to say was, you know, it's an experience. It's a time in your life that you're never going to really get back again. Yes, you can go back and be a mature age student later on in life, but it's not the same. And a lot of that time is spent partying, drinking, just getting up to a bit of a muck. Now, we definitely were doing that when we were at college, but you may not be into that scene anyway. So, you know, like you, if you want to experience that and you have no intention of studying something that can be sort of transferred to something that you want to do in the future, then maybe it's not for you. But if you do want to experience college life, then now is the time to do it. Um, and no, we're not encouraging people to, you know, party and drink and do all those crazy things, but we did do them. So it's We did do it and it's also helped us realise that we don't want to ever do that again. Yeah. And it's sort of good to have got it out of the system in a way so that you're never ever wondering, oh, I wonder what that would be like. Yeah. It's that type of thing Exactly. It's about. like everything's an experience. It is. You it know? is. And but, you know, 
You're, you're choosing those experiences. Mm. So you may choose, no, I'm not going to destroy my liver. No, I'm not going to kill my brain cells. No, I'm not going to, you know, waste my time and I'm going to go straight for, you know, uh, my life purpose. Um, it's really up to you. Everybody's going to approach this differently. So we don't think it's a yes or no black and white answer. Mm. You have to do what you want to do. We definitely wouldn't say go to college because your parents or your friends are pushing you to and they want you to and there's an expectation. We just want you to be realistic about how are you going to generate an income and realistically what are you going to do in the world. Because, because you're wanting to help other people. But um, it's like in the aeroplane if there's... Uh, a drop in cabin pressure you have to put on your own oxygen mask before assisting others so in this monetary system that we live in unfortunately you've got to be able to stand on your own two feet and have you you know your finances in order so that you're then able to help other people in you know less fortunate circumstances than yourself but if you you know sort of turn your back on your college and university and you're not set up financially you're not going to be in a great position to be able to help others, so you won't be able to ultimately achieve your life purpose anyway. Mm. So and travelling, really it, it? it is. I mean, travelling is wonderful, obviously. We promote it so much. And yes, that is where you're going to learn the most about life, hands down. But it costs to travel. It doesn't pay you to travel. Having said that, one way that you can incorporate travel with a bit of income and what have you mm -hmm. is to teach English abroad, mm -hmm. particularly in Southeast Asia or perhaps even Central or South America. Yeah. Um, so you get the travel experience. Yeah. Um, generally, those countries have a low cost of living, so your job doesn't have to pay all that much just to pay for your basic um, food and accommodation expenses. And sometimes the accommodation is actually provided yeah. for you. Yeah. And that teaching English, which is a great skill and you're an, another form of giving, volunteering in exchange for food and accommodation whilst travelling abroad is another way. Yes. Uh, provided of course you have the initial funds for the airfares and... Yeah. We don't regret going to university, we don't regret the jobs that we've done in the past. Yeah. And, and, and by the same token, we uh, also can see how uh, formal education is overrated. In... Absolutely. Absolutely, so, you know. It, I mean, I think it would be really hard to, like now, knowing what we know um, and being part of this lifestyle, oh. going back to uni and listening to lecturers. I mean, I started politics and I remember doing, you know, something called peace studies. No one ever talked about uh, the peace on our plate through, <laughs> through our diet. You know, that was never spoken about. Um, international relations, well, no one ever spoke about um, the real uh, underlying root cause of so much tension and war and poverty in the world. So I would find it very hard to go through a formal education now with the filter of uh, veganism, yeah. of uh, high carb living, of everything that I know now. Yeah. It would be and really challenging. As would I. Oh. I mean, we're talking about the constraints of the monetary system and I was working in banking. So I was, you know, supporting that as much as one can support it by working in that field. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, it's challenging. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be 19 <laughs> again, you know. But this is the filter that we now see the world through. So I hope that kind of answers your question. We didn't want to say yes or no. We just want to give you options for you to think about, to be realistic. But you definitely have to do what you want to do. Mm. Don't do it for your parents. Don't do it for a family. Don't do it for society expects it of you. Do it because you have a plan, you have a purpose, and everything's just an experience. You know, you don't have to necessarily love 125% what you're doing every single day. You know, it's not like that. Life is up and down. Yeah. And, you know, doing certain things that, you know, might ultimately lead you to doing what you love every yeah. single day. Yeah, exactly. You're young. It's a long life. You're going to experience lots of things that you think, oh, really? But those times build you, they make your character, they give you experience and they ultimately lead you to, to where you want to be. Yeah. yeah, imagine the power of wearing, you know, vegan on your t-shirt, you know, on yeah. your college campus. Excellent. Start an animal group, start educating, you know, your fellow students and handing out pamphlets. There's always ways to be active no matter what you're studying or what your job is in the present moment. Yeah. So thank you so much for this intriguing and switched on question. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed watching. Please post your comments below. What are your thoughts on this topic? We'd love to hear from you. Mm, should you go to college or not? Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next video. Bye, guys.